I am Arda Tosunoğlu from IAS Turkey office. Uh, I work for the IAS for five years as a senior project manager in IAS Turkey office and as a technical coordinator in IAS USA office. Uh, today, we will go with a from offer to cash process in our Kenya's ERP system. And during that, we will have two different scenarios, two different users working simultaneously. One of the users will be our sales representative, which just started working for the company. The second one will be our general manager, who is also responsible with the confirmations on the system and reporting. So let's start with our presentation screen as a new employee. Today, I started my new job as a sales representative, and the company is waiting for me to uh, input some or offer information to the system. So when I just log into the system, this welcome screen is uh, well, uh, this, this screen is welcoming me and asking me which process you want to go with. As my colleague Artaj mentioned, uh, Kenya has more than 40 modules available in the system, and they are working collaboratively with each other. So for today, uh, I will only go with a sales process as a sales representative. So from the module map, I click my sales module and the system is providing me so many different opportunities to go with the di different processes. My main process will be a sales management process, which is creating an offer, then confirming and moving to the next step. So I click sales management and this uh, map is showing me the alternative processes available in the Kenya system. This is just a simple uh, map showing us the available uh, processes in the system. But regarding to your company's need, this map can be can expand or minimize regarding to your needs. Today, our process will start with the offer and finish with the invoice process. During each one, we will go with some details and see what a sales employee can do during the sales process. So my very first process will be the offer process. I click offer and the system is providing me different available sub processes for the offer. I don't know which one I can go with. I can go with the details and check if my offer, how to create an offer directly from the system. With the documentation and the YouTube uh, training videos, I can learn how can I use the system and then move to my next step. Or I can just click offer create and start my process. At the very beginning, the system is asking me four main parameters to start the offer process. The company, the business area, document type, and the customer number. So if I select them before, the system is automatically keeping them in the system. So I can start my process directly from the start button. On the interface, the system is going to ask me which materials you want to sell. So to input them quickly as possible, I click a pen draw and use the fast item entry. From the material cards in the system, I select this material I will sell, this material, that one, and that one and click the right button to move them to my list. When I click OK, all the items are copied into my system. The system is giving you an advantage at the offer process, which gives you the, all the standard cost calculation results for each material. As you can see, when you click them on the list, below list, you can see two different amount of uh, standard cost calculation results and showing you the profit rates if you sell that item with that list price of 1,345 US dollars. If you change the price to a higher price, the profit rate of course will increase. And if you go at lower price, the profit rate will go lower. So we will use the price with that one and change the quantities for our process. With the quantities changing, system is automatically calculating the results for me. And I can see the total amount of uh, offer which I will obtain from that sales. On the item details, the system can provide you if you already have that material in that stock or not without going and checking any different modules. When I click the stock information, I can see that 
in three different uh, warehouses and four different stock places, I have more than enough items to sell directly to my customers. So I made my stock check and I know that I already have it in the stock. So I go back to my item details screen and see if I don't have that material in my stock. So I have to produce it for myself. But when can I start to produce it and when the production process will finish? So I go to my simulation button and the system is automatically simulating a manufacturing order for me to obtain when you will finish with the manufacturing order. I click schedule and the system is running and a small MRP and the capacity run at the background and showing me that the earliest start time for your manufacturing order will be 25th of June. And when you start at that date, you will finish the manufacturing process at the end of uh, at 13th of uh, September. So if I don't have in the stock, I have to give a reasonable date for my customer to provide the material on the desired delivery date. I go back to my sales offer and see, I can provide that material for you at the end of May. Instead of going to the simulation, I also have that option to run an available to promise process directly from the sales interface. When I click the ATP status, the system is checking my inventory and if I don't have that material in my inventory, it runs an MRP simulation and showing me that if I can provide this amount of material at the desired delivery date. Regarding the amount, I can provide the percent change from 0 to 100. So I can see right now, with the specific information here, I can provide my materials on the desired delivery date to my customers. When I click Save, the system will save my pro uh, sales offer and start the process for the confirmation. This confirmation can be done with internal or external customers if you want. For our scenario today, we will go with an internal customer and our internal customer will be our general manager. So as a second user, I go back to my web client, which is also provided by Kenya's ERP, and you can use the interface in each uh, operating system and the environment you want, in your iPad, in your Android tablet, or in your phone. When I go to my interface, this is my BPM process confirmation screen. And on that screen, it's automatically refreshing every five minutes. And when a new process has been started, I can see it on my list as a running process. I can see this is the last process I started in the system, and I want to see the details of that uh, sales offer. When I click it, it also opens a sales document interface to show me the details. And I can also see the profit and loss information directly from here. I go back to my process interface, and I say I want to confirm it. At the same time, as a sales manager, as a general manager, I also receive an email and check my emails and see if I have information for the sales offer. In the sales offer email, I can also see the profit rates for each material and how much I can obtain a profit. I can also give confirmation from here, but for our today's scenario, we will go with the information from BPM interface. I click my process and use the approve button and you can see my offer has been approved by the sales or general manager. I go back to my Kenya's interface and I want to see if my offer has been approved or not. I go to offer listing and giving the parameters for today and clicking search. I can see this is my uh, sales offer. When I go to its details, I can see the confirmation has been approved by my manager. So I can tell that right now I can just send the sales order to my customer for her for his or her confirmation. I go back to my presentation screen and click normal order. From the order create interface, there are so many options as you can see. I will use the standard order create process. Click it and with the same customer information and sales document type, I will go to my order information. 
As you remember, we already put four different materials into our offer. So we don't want to input them again and again. I want to copy them into my offer. I go to open items and search for my approved quotations or offers in the system. I can see four of my items, which are already in the sales offer, it has been listed in here. I select all them and click copy. Then all the information will be copied from my offer to my sales order. As you can see, all the prices, all the standard cost information and quantity has been moved to my sales order. If I don't want to change anything, I want to make sure that at the desired delivery date, I want to have stock available in my system. So I want to make a reservation to keep that amount in my stock at the desired delivery date. So I go to my item details again and look at my stock. As I see, I have it in my warehouse 300 and 600. So I want to make a reservation. So in the stock information, I click reservation and the system is opening up a screen for me. From the warehouse button, I can say, okay, from the 300 warehouse and the 300 stock place, I want to reserve two amount of items for my reservation. When I click OK and save my document, now this process will move to the next step. It's asking me again to if you want to give any details. I click OK and move to my sales order. Now as a sales manager again, I go back to my web client and refresh my interface and I see a new sales order confirmation has been waiting for my approval. So I click approve and move to the next step. Right now, as a sales manager, on my dashboard screens, I don't see any results because my results will be regarding to my invoice values and income amounts. So I go back to my user representative interface and I see my order has been approved. I also make an order listing and see my results as my order has been approved. Now the next step, I will generate my delivery note to my customer and invoice the amount to my customer as a final step. I click delivery and the system is providing you many different options to create a delivery note. The first one is creating a manual delivery note and creating a picking order for your warehouse. And with the help of VMS module in the system, you can just provide a, this a delivery note and issue the items at that moment. Or you can create an automatic goods issue delivery note and issue all the items at the moment you save your delivery note. For today's scenario, we will go with the creating delivery note as an auto. So my customer and the document information has already been provided. I click start. So the same sales document interface is welcoming me again. Again, I also have my information in the order. So I want to go to open items again and search for the items from, from my order, click them all and copy them into my sales document. When I go back to general, I can see all my materials. And if everything looks fine, I can click save. The system is asking me for serial number. If I don't pick, they will use the FIFO and issue all of them at once. For the items, it asks me and is successfully created the sales uh, stock movement. And the sales document has been updated. So the next step will be creating my invoice to my customer. When I click invoice, I go with the same interface and with the invoice create and copying items from a delivery note. At the moment right now, the sales manager does not see any results because the sales manager is creating reports regarding to the invoices. So at the moment, we do not see any results, but when the moment we save this, we will see the results in our dashboards. I go to open items again, search my items, select all my delivery note items, copy them into my invoice, and I go to general tab, I can see the details, I can see the amount, V8, available VAT, and the subtotal. 
when I save it, the sales document has been saved. So as a sales and general manager, I go back to my dashboard and I see, go to my sales management cockpit. This is the amount which I pro obtained until that moment. But right now, one of my sales representative has finished with the sales process. So when I click my refresh option, as you can see, there are new added invoices to my system. And regarding to the payment plan and the payment conditions in my invoice, the approaching payments will be around 300,000. With the details, I can go with the, uh, as a reporting tool, I can go with my top materials, which I sold between that period. I can see which material has been sold more than other. I can see my top customers, which purchase item from me do it also in that interval. And with the CRM module, we, I can track my top opportunities to sell item to my customers. So I go back to my general tab and I can see my budget and the annual budget comparison. Also, as a sales manager, general manager, I also have the access to my Project 100 screen. And this is our general manager interface provided with the all module information at once. On that interface, I can say, see my sales revenue, purchase amounts, uh, finance the information, uh, liquidity gain ra ratios, stock informations, uh, quality informations, and human resources informations. When I refresh the items in here, as you can see, when I save a sales document, my sales income has been increasing. So this is also my dashboard as a sales manager or as a general manager. And I can track all the process in my company at once. When I go back to my as a sales representative, the final step for me, if my manager asks me, which offer or which order you use to create that invoice? So the system should provide me a tracking information. When I go to invoice listing information tab in here and search for my invoice, I can see that this is my invoice and the system is providing me a history information. When I click the history, I can see all the quotations, all the orders, all the notes, and all the invoices item by item. So what that means, the system provides you, you can create two delivery notes from one order and still track them, or you can combine two delivery notes into one uh, sales invoice. So you still, you can keep track of your items at the end of each sale process. And this is it for my today's presentation and from offer to cash demo process. Very I would good. like Very to good. thank Very you. Good. I would like to thank you everyone for attending our process and uh, spending half an hour with us. As you can see, this is our sales team contact information on your screen. For further questions or more details, you can contact with my colleagues any anytime you want. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank very you very good. much, Thank Arya. So I, I know uh, we, we I know know we're we're this over with the great, we great. Discuss discuss all of this. All this was a very, um, uh, you know, this can be a very difficult uh, and uh, process as we got a, a question from someone about the process. Everything is uh, highly customizable, customizable. All of these steps uh, that uh, Arda had gone through, they can be, uh, you can add approvals in there. You can add signatures, uh, you can take away things uh, and, uh, and that sort of thing. So I, I think um, Arda did a great job uh, of, of you know, compressing this and going through it. Hopefully you all uh, got something out of it. Uh, if there are any questions, uh, there was one question, I, I, I answered that one uh, regarding the, the sales process. If you can add different steps to it, uh, that would be great. I just uh, want to send everybody a, a quick poll on how you guys would, uh, would rate this uh, content today. As I said earlier, or as I think I said, because uh, I started off with on the mute button, uh, this is the first in a series of webinars that we're going to be doing. And uh, we're going to be following up uh, with a few uh, manufacturing centric uh, things, possibly uh, MRP uh, and a couple of others to be announced. So uh, we'll keep you all informed 
uh, of the schedule. And of course, uh, we will be sending you out an email so that you can redeem your Starbucks gift cards. Um, and, uh, you know, there'll be a, a few questions on that email. I think it's three questions on there. Uh, we just ask that you, you know, fill those out. And if anyone would like to get in touch with us, we'll also send us a copy of the slide with all our contact info on there as well. So uh, thanks again. I'm going to check uh, real quick and see if there are any, uh, any questions. You can also contact us if you want to see a specific part of the system like MRP, um, you know, costing or, or something like that. The system is very uh, robust. It has, uh, you know, inventory management, uh, materials management, all that kind of thing uh, in there. Uh, but as you can see, uh, you know, those those other uh, topics are a deeper dive. They probably go uh, an hour uh, to 90 minutes for a demo, but we'd be happy to, to show you the interface. Thank you.